I uh, need to get some lawnmower blades. Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Jake Makes. We got something fun going to be happening today. My buddy Luke, who you will remember as the one feeding Zach deadly jelly beans. It could possibly be good, but we've yeah. never gotten a good one. Oh, no. <laughs> no, that's not good. Their family is visiting down here, and they're staying with us tonight in our camper, which we have parked out there. And um, he just started his own little YouTube channel, building stuff, um, kind of similar stuff to what I do. I would encourage you to check that out. Link will be, should be, should be up there, unless I'm dis YouTube oriented. Anyway, we're gonna be building some type of large bladed object. Haven't quite decided what yet, and uh, it's gonna be really fun. Hope you enjoy. Let's go right to it. All right, Mr. Luke. Oh, dang it! I'm using your card. <laughs> okay, let's uh, go over here. This is where I keep all my scrap metal. We've got lawnmower blades, saw blades. So what are we thinking we're going to do something out of a lawnmower blade, right? Yeah. Yeah, that one's biggest, right? Yeah. Yeah. And this one's split, and it's pretty big. Thinking we're going to be using this one, because it's the biggest and um, the one in best condition. The other ones are kind of split on the ends, so we don't have quite as much usable material from those, so I'm gonna use this one. So we kind of drew out a bunch of, des uh, or I drew out a bunch of just designs, just kind of having some fun with it, see uh, what on earth we wanted to do. We wanted a kukri. Something like kukri, that. Yeah, that's gonna look awesome. This. That's gonna be hard. Yeah, we could just do like the regular yeah. beater style. Roman gladius. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so here's what we decided. We decided to do this crazy giant karambit thing out of the lawnmower blade. That's the basic idea. Something giant and karambit-like. <laughs> hey, bigger the better. That was loud. Jeez. All right, now the first step for this project is to take the lawnmower blade, which of course is not straight or flat or anything that would remotely work for a knife. Stick it in the forge and just flatten the whole thing out until it's flat. Check that out, that was awesome.
Okay, so so far we've gotten it perfectly straight, pretty much. Uh, so now what we're going to try to do is put a bend in it so we can do the crown bit style. So what we're pretty much going to try to do is heat up a section and then take it and get it really hot and then just kind of hit it like that and kind of try to get it to pop up without flinging it out of our hands as best as we possibly can so that we can get that bend in it for the crown bit style that we're trying to go for. Exactly what he said. Alrighty, done with the curving and uh, the flattening, so we're flat and curved. Turn off the forge, let that cool down, and then we will go inside because it's getting dark. And we will eat something. Yeah, and then we'll eat dinner, how about that? Okay, so I'm thinking the... Uh, Side. That's the face. <laughs> Good, then this is the handle. <laughs> Here. That. That right there. I think that's pretty cool. Now, we gotta cut the stinking thing out. So here's where we're at now. We've got the profile completely ground out. The grind profile is up to a 500 grit belt, so it's nice and shiny and smooth and everything. We're gonna be leaving the sides with the forged finish because that looks really awesome. What we're gonna do now is we're ready to start grinding in the bevels, and we're on a pretty tight time crunch actually because they're leaving tomorrow and we have like no time tomorrow to do this. So. It's like, what is it, 10 o'clock right now, like 9.30. And we're going to try to get this thing, the bevels roughed in real fast, then heat treat it tonight, then we can go sleep, and then we'll be able to finish it up and test it tomorrow before they leave. But that means we have to get working really fast. So I'm going to go over, put a 40 grit belt on the 1x30 belt sander, and rough in these bevels. <laughs>
Alright, now as you can see in that last bit, we took the um, Dremel and just cut away at the back spine of this thing to give it this really cool jaggedy look to match this part right here, which was accidental. That was actually forged in, banging on the edge of the anvil. And when you sand the back of it, as you can see, you have this really sweet contrast between the dark scale and the shiny metal. And we just thought it'd be super cool if we copied that by coming in with the grinder at all these different points. So then when we go into to heat treat it, the scale will all darken the metal that's inside and then we'll go over the outside with the sander and we'll get that same look and it'll make it look really, really cool. Alrighty, it is, what time is it? Is it like 11 now? It's 11 o'clock. We're ready for the heat treat now, so I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the forge. We're going to do two normalizing cycles, then we're gonna go ahead and heat treat it. This thing is too big for that quench tank, which I used in the last video, and I don't have enough oil to fill my sword quench tank, which I haven't finished yet. So we're gonna to try to use that uh, disposable aluminum baking pan filled with vegetable oil, which I got there, and see if we can't make something work with that. Let's go ahead and go with the normalizing cycles. I am scared, this thing's freaky. Cinematic epic oil pouring. Am I gonna? That's not quite what it looks like, but yeah, it, it's it'll look cool. All right, so for this handle here, what we've got is I'm just putting some super glue on the tang of this thing. Can someone shut the music off? <laughs> Unnecessarily dramatic. I've got super glue on the tang of the blade so we can glue this piece of leather over it. And then once that's glued on, we're going to do a paracord wire wrap. The leather's gonna give it some more bulk so the handle's not super thin. And then we should be done. The Karambit machete is finished, sharpened up. Luke had to leave. His family was only here for a couple days, or one and a half days, really. So, really a one-day build then. Finished, sharpened, 
Let's test it. Now, this bottle, <laughs> Zach donated. I am not going this, to be asking no. him what's in that. This is yellow food color. I can show you. Watch. That's that's his story. No. <laughs> it's right here. I regret putting any of this I in there. I told him not to put yellow in there because it wouldn't look right. <laughs> <laughs> that is cool. This needs cut down. <laughs> Perfect machete. All right, guys, that's about all for today. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. You're probably suspecting that I filmed my intro and outro at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to check out Luke's channel. I believe he's doing a video on this project as well. Link is right here. I mean, um, yeah, to Luke's channel right there and in the description. Go check that video out. Subscribe to him. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next episode of Jake Makes. Jake out. I think I can do it from here.